Can you play sports or lift weights after breaking a bone in your arm? I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I provide education, information, and commentary on all sports, all sorts of sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. I say that all the time and I still manage to mess it up sometimes. In this Ask Dr. Geyer video, we're going to talk about breaking a bone in your forearm. You know, should you have hardware removed, uh, the plates and screws essentially, and can you get back to activity? Sam asks, Dr. Geyer, I fractured my radius bone in my right hand. I went through surgery and got a steel plate and rods in there. Will I be able to do my normal activities as I was doing before, after hardware removal? Or is it dangerous to lift weights sometimes? Well, that's a great question. The radius is the long bone on the forearm. It's on the side of the thumb as opposed to the side of the little finger. But you can break it in the middle of your forearm. You can break it at the wrist really, really um, painful for sure, and one that very often needs surgery. Usually it's a plate and screws, but uh, it almost always needs to be lined up a little bit better, and then the plates and screws hold it in the proper position until your body heals it. Yes, you can get back to sports. You can get back to exercise once that heals. After surgery, as orthopedic surgeons, we'll get x-rays every so often, maybe every two weeks or three weeks or whatever it is, until that bone is completely healed, and then we know when it's safe to go back. Now, typically for a radius fracture, you know, whether it's at the forearm or at the wrist, unless that hardware is bothering the patient for some reason, we don't typically take it out and we don't limit activities just because it's in there. You know, we would basically let you get back to football or lifting weights or whatever it is. So there's usually not a good reason to take it out. If you do take it out for some reason, then a lot of times you probably will have to limit their activities for six weeks or eight weeks while the bone fills in where the screws and the plates were uh, to get that bone back to full strength. But an important discussion to have with your orthopedic surgeon when you can get back to sports and whether or not you should have the hardware removed. All right, have you broken a bone and did you get back to sports? Did you have the hardware taken out and did that affect your ability to do what you needed to do? I'd love to hear your experience and honestly, I bet viewers all around the world would love to hear it as well. So below this video, share your experience so we can all learn from you. All right, if you like videos like this, I record three injury, uh, injury treatments, injury prevention videos, and I upload them every single week. So subscribe to my video channel. On YouTube, click the button in the upper right corner of the page. Plus, I do live videos now where I'll occasionally answer questions that you have. So if you subscribe, you'll get notifications, not just of these recorded videos, but anytime I'm on live, uh, online live as well. So definitely subscribe to my video channel. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.